difficult it might be to like be diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. Um, my grandmother, who was diagnosed five years ago with chronic kidney disease, is actually what inspired me to be behind what was behind all this um, disease. And I believe it's important for you, me, and everybody else, even to those who don't even know that they have kidneys, <laughs> to know like how to prevent it because it's a really serious disease. Um, especially now that um, Dr. Seven assured that there have been many more cases um, detected with chronic kidney disease. And chronic kidney disease occurs gradually. It's like it happens like from months to years. It doesn't develop like fast. So it does, but you can't always tell how the symptoms are now like noticeable. So um, in this pre um, <coughs> presentation, I will try to inform you as much as I can of the causes, the symptoms, and the treatments for this disease. Actually, their kidneys are not functioning. 
And secondly, the also another cause is um, chronic kidney disease causes anemia, so that is um, lack of oxygen. So that would be another thing that would have to relate with um, shortness of breath. And well, the last. Uh, Uh, for the well, now that you know about the symptoms, I'm going to tell you about the treatment. Um, the first one would be to like get rid of your first uh, disease without well, actually causing it. So if it's diabetes, high blood pressure, HIV, any of those, uh, you would first obviously have to go to your doctor, and those are the only ones that can actually help you treat diabetes, high blood pressure with their pills. And after that, it would be the next um, treatment would be dialysis once you're. Uh, the disease is already advanced, but first you would have to know at what stage of uh, disease, at what stage of the disease you are. There's five stages. The first one, it's just like you're tired. It does, you can't really tell the the symptoms, and you have headaches and stuff like that. The second one is the same as well. Thank you. 